next halacha number four. It's very long. Okay, let's uh, let's at least start. <clears throat> so halacha number four. Even though Teshuvah atones for all sins, and the essence of the Yom Kippur brings atonement, there are different levels of sins, hence, the difference uh, in a degree of atonement. So uh, in, uh, we, we started to discuss it, so here details. There are sins that can be atoned uh, for immediately, so not immediately, right? And other sins uh, which can be atoned only over the course of the time. What is implied? Next page. Um, if person violates positive commandment, so positive commandment, as we said, except what? Except um, uh, basic sacrifice and the circumcision, right? Except this, positive commandment, uh, which are not punishable by chorus. Okay, so only those two punishable by chorus. And repents, he will not leave the place before he is forgiven. Concerning these sins, Yirmiyahu uh, states, return faceless children, I will heal you, uh, your, uh, your rebellious acts. So let's try to understand. We're not going to go into details today, but just uh, for a general idea, because uh, uh, it's, it's very important to know. So for all positive commandments, except the um, bris milah and, uh, and Pesach offering, right? So if he, for all of the positive command for I don't know what is positive commandment, any like uh, sit in a sukkah, build the sukkah, and all others uh, and the like, pray with a congregation and uh, uh, give 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 tzedakah, all of these things, right? All of the positive commandments, right? So so if he did, if he did uh, um, to sure. He's not going to move from this place until he, he's repented. He, he, he's forgiven. So basically, this positive commandment, uh, commandments is the is easier thing to do to show for. So there's no suffering, nothing. Just say, I'm sorry. I'll, from now on, I'm going to keep all these commandments. No problem. So which is uh, amazing. Continue. Next level. Uh, uh, uh. What's it called? But uh, Hill and Shem, do you get cars for it? I don't think so. No, no, no we, we're going to get it. We're, we're going to, you know, from lighter to, to the most severe one. We're going to get it. it, it it's in this halal. Okay. Um, if person um, violates prohibition, that is not punishable by chorus. That's some negative command, not punishable by chorus. Uh, or execution by the court and repents, the shura has a tentative effect. Okay, so negative commandment, not punishable by chorus, so not, not as severe. So tentative effect, meaning the file is there, it just closed, it's not going to be get used against him, but it is there. And Yom Kippur brings atonement. So basically he has to live uh, until Yom Kippur, has to do the, go through Yom Kippur, whatever he needs to do, and he is going to get um, atonement. Right, as I said, this day will atone for you. So first level, as we said, positive commandment, besides those punishable by chorus. Second, uh, second level is those that uh, not also not punishable by chorus, negative commandments. Uh, you, I mean, depends on when, when, when he did the shorts, he still needs a Yom Kippur to pass. So Yom Kippur is very important, like day, that would cleanse him from these uh, sins. Continue. Next level. If person violates sins punishable by chorus or execution by the court, right, and uh, and and repents, so meaning like he was like he was not keeping shabbos. The shua and yom kippur have a tentative effect. Very interesting. Again, very similar to the previous one, and the suffering which come upon him complete the atonement. So. Basically, the person would not leave this world. So if he did a, a real Teshua, so he has to go through suffering. So if, if a guy was doing good, so that's that's common example. And Baruch Hashem, I was, uh, I was uh, fortunate enough, meritorious enough to stop to several people, right? They did Teshua and they were like uh, on a higher level, right? Uh, they were very successful uh, financially and or materially in their family. And then they did Teshua and the higher they went, everything like start falling apart. So all of the business, everything and like family life, it's like it was disaster. 
So they, 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 they uh, like, and these people were like, I mean, it, different people, like not to let it but they go uh, ready to quit everything. So I told them that that's, that's good. Whatever is going to, the turbulence that's going to, into your life, it's actually, that's what sages say. So before that, Hashem said, this guy, I have to get rid of him. I have to give him all of the money for little mitzvah that he did. Goodbye, basically. Now he did the shua, and it must go through the suffering. Right? So Hashem said, no, you, I, I need in this world. Why? Why, why, do I, why do I need? Because he did the shua. So now you have to go through suffering. So this suffering is good for you. So if you did the shua, right, and you did all of the core sins, and you have no suffering, guess what? There is no to show them. Something is missing, right? But uh, but suffering could be uh, a person can bring suffering up upon himself, right? In, in the good sense. So for example, you say, I want to go to the early minion, 6 a.m. minion. So every day you would get up at 5 a.m., right? Uh, and go and eat suffering. For a normal person, I mean, maybe, maybe some people cannot sleep. Maybe for them it's not suffering, but for me, uh, for me, it's suffering. 5 a.m. Or somebody say, I'm going to do like uh, all the other mitzvahs. I'm going to to carry heavy boxes to feed all the poor people. I go to this. Like uh, it's also suffering, right? So a person can bring suffering, good suffering. If he gets the mitzvah up on the, the himself, or he can get uh, suffering from Hashem. Right, it could be some uh, disease come right to him or his family, or it could be some minor thing, things, right? Some financial issue. He lost all the money. So when person loses all the money, so he has to say Baruch Hashem because if he's smart person, he knows it should, should be on him. As a famous uh, famous story that uh, say about um, uh, Shlomo Hamelach. Right, so one person, I don't know if you know the story, quickly the story. So one person came to, to Shlomo and say, uh, your, your majesty, I know, everybody knows that you know the, the what is it, the, uh, the language of the, of the animal. So that, that, please teach me. He said, you don't need it. He said, no, no, I wanted to know very much the language of the, of the animals. He said, you do not need it. If, if it would be necessity of life, Hashem would give everybody. But since he did not give to everybody, so it's not needed. This person insists in his back. And uh, Shlomo HaMelech taught him uh, the, the language of the, uh, taught him the, the, the language of the animals. And uh, one, one time this person was going out of the house, right? And, um, and uh, he, he heard that today this, uh, the master's son is going to, 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 to break, break, break his leg. Right, so he said, has for sure. So he came back and said, You stay at home, you're not going anywhere. Right? So okay, so Abba, there is no no for you, no school to it. Okay, the next morning he goes out and he said to today, whatever the master brought this thing, it's going to catch fire. Right? And the whole house is going to burn. So he he brought he came back, he threw the things, okay, no fire. So the next day, so I don't remember all of the examples, and they, they say, um, Whatever, whatever, whatever they say, and they say today his master wife is going to die. And and he said, What's what, like how can he stop this one? Right? His wife is going to die. So he, he ran to the Shlomo Hamela and say, I, I, I don't understand what, what's going on. Uh, like and he said, exactly, that's your problem. So Hashem wanted to do easy for you. He would do a little pain for you to lose money. Okay, he will lose money to, to solve all your, your son's suffering. So, but you, you were insisting, you were, you were trying to outsmart out with Hashem. So when you eliminate all the things, so the only one, so instead of, he, your, your wife was supposed to die to begin with. But because of your merits, he said, that, let's, let's do you, you for you are going to lose uh, uh, 3,000 financially, right? Or, or you, 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 your son is going to break his leg. Okay, a little kid break his leg, very painful, but three months later, he forget he's going to jump even higher than before. There is, like, there is no problem. But, uh, but you, with your, your, your stupidity, you push a lot. So, so that's, that's how the things work. You understand? So when a person has this uh, like bigger picture, how Hashem operates uh, the, the, the world, so he would not be upset. So I, I lost money, a lot of money. And, and somebody like uh, said, I, I can pay you back. I said, I don't want to pay you. I don't want to pay you. I already, I, I settled in my mind, it was uh, some time ago, 
six months ago, whatever months ago, was I said, I, my, my, I said, I don't want it back. That's it. Hashem took it. It's probably because of my, like, uh, it would be my, much, I, I deserve much severe punishment. He, he said it's going to be money. I don't want this money back. That's it. Understand? So I, I think we can stop here. Thank you.